morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Corey Booker. I'm a United States Senator. I represent the state of New Jersey. But today, I want you to know I stand with Charlie and David. I want you to know I stand for our American ideals. I stand for our principles. We are a nation founded on some of the most profound ideals that have ever been put forth on the planet Earth. But let's not get this wrong. When our nation put forth this ideal that all are created equal, we were not an equal nation. When we put forth that we would be a nation where there would be, as it says on this building, a nation where there is equal justice under the law, we did not have that at our beginning. The reality is, as our principles were strong and our ideals were great, it took every generation of Americans to fight to make those ideals real in this nation. We're a nation where it's said in our founding documents and referred to Native Americans as savages. Women weren't referred to at all. Blacks were considered fractions of citizens. But we gather together as a country in every generation to make a more perfect union. A nation that saw the dignity of all humankind. A nation that understood that we are stronger when we are together. A nation that knew that demeaning and degrading any other fellow citizen is unacceptable in this land. I stand here today because when it came to my family's rights and equal citizenship, black folks and white folks, Christians, Jews, Muslims, gay, straight, marched and fought and sat in and did freedom rides to make real on the promise of America. And now we are gathered here today before the highest court of the land to let them hear our passion, let them know our love, let them understand our commitment to the principles of this country, to deny anyone equal access, to deny anyone equal justice under the law, to degrade or demean anyone in our nation is absolutely unacceptable. We cannot be a country that allows discrimination to, to rail its ugly head. We cannot be a nation that allows the thin veneer of religion to hide the truth of the bigotry that we are still fighting and battling against in this country. We are a nation that must fight. Every generation must assert and earn the truth of the words that we hold dear, dear our civic gospel. And let's not fool ourselves. We have a long way to go in this nation until we live up to our values and our ideals. We who swear an oath that we will be a nation of liberty and justice for all must confront the ugly truth that we are not there yet. We still have a nation where you can marry anyone you want, but on the next day you can be fired by your boss in most of our states just because of who you are. This is unacceptable. We still have a nation that just because of how who you are, you can be denied housing in this country. This is unacceptable. And now in the balance right now, this old ideal that we fought for, generation after generation, that whoever you are, you can go to a store, you could sit in a restaurant, you can get on any kind of tr public transportation. All of these things now are held in the balance. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, we have not come this far to turn back now. Every generation is making progress. We will not let ourselves backslide. This day is a day of urgency when all Americans must understand that the opposite of justice is not injustice. It is indifference, it is inaction, and it is silent. Well, I am here today to tell you right now, I will not be silent. And so let our voices be heard. Let us wake up the moral imagination of our country. Let us disturb those who right now are sitting comfortably enjoying their citizenship rights and remind them that your citizenship rights, that your equality, that your justice is never secure for anyone unless it is secure for everyone.
I do hold these truths self-evident that every American citizen is created equal and must be treated equal. May God bless America and may we pray for those who are unfortunately indulging in the kind of bigotry and ignorance that we must overcome. Thank you.